Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Canva's new comic strip templates. Canva's always had features that you could use to make comic strips, but now they're actually offering templates that you can use to do this. So let's go ahead and take a look at how these features work. So I'm logged into my canva.com account and I'm going to search for just comic or comic strips or comics, any variation thereof will get you this suggestion for comic strip. And then we have all kinds of templates here. You can see I've got this one here with some dogs in it and cats in it. Got this one, proper payday etiquette, social distancing reminders, all kinds of templates. Now within these templates, you may find that there's additional layouts within them. You can see here's the more standard six frames or three frames by three frames. Let's pick one of these and take a look at how it works. So let's go with this one here. I like this one. So I'm going to use this template. And we'll see that this one actually has four different parts in it. Now you don't have to use all four parts. You could use just this one if you wanted to. And you can see we can view all the illustrations that are included in here, but we can further modify this. So let's take a look at how we can further modify this. Now, right now we are using a kind of traditional Christmas setting, but maybe I want to use cactus instead of pine trees in the background. So what I'm going to do is go over here to elements and I'm gonna look for a cactus. And we'll see here's some different cactuses or cacti, I guess. Let's pick this one here. So I deleted my pine trees and I'm gonna replace it with this cactus. So just click on it once and I'll put it in place. Now I can click and drag to reposition the size of it. And I'll move this text around. And I'll even move the dog over a little bit. And if I click on the illustration of the cactus, I can then go up here and change the color. I can make it a white outline if I like, or that purplish outline, or you know, brown or green might be a more appropriate outline color. So we can try all of those. And if I want to duplicate it, I can just right click on it, copy it, and paste it anywhere else that I want to use it inside this frame. And there it is. Okay. So there's my, now I have cactus in this setting. Now I can also do some changes to the artwork that was previously put in place by Canva, like this one here, I can change the dog. I click on the dog once and I have my color palette up here. Well, let's go and click on color and can change what the dog looks like. See the colors change as I click through on that dog. Likewise, I can do the same over here. I can even make the dog kind of a neon blue color. Give a dog get some orange highlights or blue highlights or make it a more normal looking dog as well. And we can do the same thing with the cat. Now, of course, I can change the text by just clicking on the text box and saying, writing anything I want. And the text box up here, I can also do the same thing. I can click and change the font. I can also click and drag to expand it or contract it as needed. Now, let's go down here to this more blank one. If I wanted to change it so that I have equals four equal size boxes, I can do so by just clicking and dragging on the boxes themselves until I have them at the size that I want. And now if I want to use any of these characters rather than searching over here, I can just 
copy and paste it up here and I get my character. But if I want to use a character that's not in the default illustration set provided in the template, well, let's go over here and do a search for a dog and I'll find all kinds of dog options. And we'll click and drag and put it in that way. And once again, I can click on it and change the color palette. I could have a green dog if I wanted to, or a tan dog. Now, do we want to have some speech bubbles? Of course, we want to have some speech bubbles around this. So let's go into the elements. And there's some speech bubbles. And let's click and drag and put that one in place. Reposition it. Even change the color of it. Make it white. And I'll put some font inside that. We'll put some text right in there. We'll just use a little bit of body text. Put it inside the box or inside the bubble. Woof, woof. And let's change that font, make it a different style. Maybe Poppins Bold. Make it larger or smaller as needed. And of course, change the color for it as well. There it is. Now, when I'm happy with my artwork and my comic, I am ready to share it and or download it. So let's take a look at how we can share it, publish it, download it. A couple of things. First of all, in the upper right hand corner, hit that share button. I can invite other people to view and edit this. I can invite my friend Mason to work on this with me. Give him edit access or viewing access. So Mason now has the option to come in and work on this with me. If I want to download it, in the upper right hand corner, I can download it as a PDF and download it as all the pages in one set, or say I just want to download one of the pages. I can do that. And then I've got my PDF downloaded for me. But of course, I can also download it as image files. I can even download it as an MP4, which is going to play each one of these pages as a part of a video. Download it as a GIF. We've got a few different options there. And Canva now offers a whole bunch of ways to print this as a book. You can go up here and you can look at all these other ways to print it out. You can print it out as a photo book, business cards if you wanted to, put it on a mug, all kinds of interesting ways to do that. Or you can go ahead and get a share link. And anyone who has that link can view your comic online. So that's how you can use Canva's new comic strip templates, customize them, share them with your friends, and publish them. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.